Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. Notorious Fulani terrorist bandit leader, Belo Tuji, cries out that they are in trouble because they told Buhari imposter the bitter truth that attacking Eastern Security Network is a suicide mission. According to the Fulani terrorist bandit leader, he said that even the Nigerian military are too afraid to even confront Eastern Security Network talkless of ragtag Fulani terrorists like them that they were given a humiliating defeat the last time they invaded Biafran forests and bushes. And those of them that are alive to tell the story, they can never go back to Biafra land. And that is why Buhari Imposto and the Nigerian military are importing new terrorists from Mali to execute their plans. According to the Fulani terrorist bandit leader, he said that the Fulani Nigerian government is only fooling the gullibles and naive people that they want to end Fulani terrorism, whereas in the actual sense, they are only fueling the activities of Fulani terrorist bandits, Boko Haram and Islamic State, and also benefiting from them. My brothers and my sisters, we can see that the Fulani Janjaweed are criminals. They are all terrorists, including their leaders. They are terrorists. And because Biafrans have refused to be dominated, Biafrans have refused to be oppressed. Biafrans have refused to be Fulani slaves. And that is why the Fulani Janjaweed, Puari Imposto, is using the military, the terrorists in Nigerian military uniform, to massacre innocent Biafrans. But his time is up. Even the Tunubu is deceiving. The lifeless drug lord sent his urchins to attack P2B supporters in Lekki area of Lagos during their peaceful campaign rally. And that is why we told them, we be our friends, we are not ready for these their murky waters of politics they play in Nigeria. It's too fraudulent. You know, what they are practicing in the zoo is not politics. It's selection process, fraudulent selection process. My brothers and my sisters, those who trust in one Nigeria, that is what happens to them. They will keep attacking each other. You know, while Tunubu lands in Chatham House, London, United Kingdom, looking free, exhausted, and sickly. Simple questions on economy and security, he couldn't answer. He had to delegate. That is the kind of politics they practice in the zoo called Nigeria. That's the kind of politics. He could not answer anything. You know, he wants to go in there and rule the zoo with cabals. You know, one thing they don't understand is that the election in 2023 will not hold because Biafra will be restored. 
You know, but his urchins are claiming that Tunubu's public blunders are minor issues. That was what they said about Buhari Impostor. That even though he has Nepal bill as his certificate, they will rig him in. Which they did. And they are now all suffering. In the zoo, they are suffering. Over 133 million Nigerians are below poverty line. The same Buhari imposter has taught Nigeria a viable nation that he met into the poverty capital of the world. You know, until Nigeria disintegrates, people in the zoo will keep thinking and behaving like Fulani cows. Even the useless Fulani slave Femi Fani Kayode called the Labour Party vice presidential candidate a Mauritanian Fulani cow and an itinerant refugee. A Mauritanian Almajari who should be rounded up, placed in chains, and put in a cow pen and deported back to Mauritania where he came from. When Mazen and the Colonel told them this truth, all of them refused to listen. They called him liar. They called him all sorts of derogatory names. Now, they are now confirming that Mazen and the Colonel actually told them the truth. You know, the zoo politics is nothing to write home about. And that is why we Biafrans detest the zoo politics. We, de we detest it. It is not for humans. It is for Fulani cows, Fulani terrorists. You know, for busting, busting the lies of Fulani slave Reno Omokri and telling the world the truth. Arise TV presenter Rufai Useni has been accused by Tunubu Orchins of threatening of threatening to assassinate Reno Mokre and they went to doctor an audio uh, message claiming that Useni was planning to assassinate Reno Mokre. Reno is just running around looking for money to survive. That's what he's looking for. He's just only embarrassing himself. These are the same Biafran traitors that are working seriously against Biafra restoration. You know, this is how dirty the zoo politics is. Tunubu Orchins and Reno Mokre are enemies of Biafra restoration. They are working so hard to stop the realization of Biafra Republic. But they have failed. They have failed woefully. You know, the zoo politics is so dirty that they are ready to kill if you tell the world the truth. Just as Mazen Namdekanu was kidnapped, an extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Nigeria because he spoke the truth and told the world the truth about Buhari Impostor, about the dirty things happening in the zoo. Buhari Impostor is so shameless that he spent 225 days out of 365 days in a calendar year on medical trips abroad. 
while the nation's medical system is in disarray and sorry state. Buare Imposto traveled to more than 40 countries, lavishing the scarce foreign exchange. Nigeria is in their need of. But he had the temerity to ban the issuance of forex to Igbo importers because of his hatred for Biafrans. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye bye for now. And God bless Biafra. Is safe.